Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll explore the NHV boot once again and learn how to migrate your Windows operating system from a small 120GB GBT disk to a larger 250GB one. Imagine this situation. You're running out of disk space and want to upgrade to a bigger disk. Or maybe you simply want to switch to a faster and more reliable disk. There are several tools available for this task, such as AOMA Partition Assistant, Mini Tool Partition Wizard, EaseUS Partition Master, or Disk Genius. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Mini Tool Partition Wizard to migrate the Windows OS to a larger hard disk. The process is straightforward. As you can see on the screen, we have the original 120GB GBT disk, or disk 2, and the new empty 250GB disk, or disk 1. To begin, right-click on disk 2 and select Copy. Make sure that disk 1 is selected as the destination disk, and click Next. In the review section, you have two options, fit the partitions to the entire disk or copy partition without resizing. Choose the second option to keep the partition sizes, which will result in approximately 121 gigabytes of unallocated space on the larger disk. Don't worry, I'll show you how to extend the Windows system partition to utilize this free space. To extend the partition, first, Move the recovery partition to the end of the disk. Now that the free space is adjacent to the Windows system drive, you can extend it by dragging the small arrow to the right and click Next. A notice might appear reminding you to change the BIOS mode to the UEFI for booting from the GBT disk. If your computer is already in the UEFI mode, this should not be a problem. There may be a note about configuring the computer BIOS setting to make sure the new disk is set as the default boot disk. If you are removing the original disk, you won't need to perform these additional steps. Click Finish and then Apply. Confirm by answering Yes. Next, shut down the computer and remove the old disk. Start the computer and you'll see it boots into Windows on the new disk. The C drive now has 232GB of space. The final step is to check if Windows OS is activated, and as you can see, my Windows is activated with a digital license. And that is how you migrate Windows to a new disk using the disk copy function. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking the subscribe button and also see our next video. Thank you for watching.